Next, we'd like to look at a problem that was suggested by one of our listeners concerning the shielding factor of, of concrete reinforced with rebar. And so there'll be some electromagnetic shielding of cement structures that might affect the use of cell phones and 60-cycle uh, power line noise and so forth. And also, the rebar steel structures will deviate the Earth's magnetic fields that can give erroneous compass readings and so forth, which can be inconvenient if you're trying to set up some telescopes and trying to hold or align your telescope and the rebar and various ferromagnetic objects nearby can deviate the Earth's magnetic field as well as attenuate high frequency fields. So we performed this simulation in quick field using XY symmetry. And this is our solution region where we have a, a uniform field and this will be the concrete enclosure, which is three meters on a side. And I've simulated the rebar, the steel structures that are coming out of the page here. So each rebar cylinder has a radius of two centimeters. And the, the wall thickness is 10 centimeters. So this is our air region. This is the concrete, and these are the rebar uh, steel vertical structures. Notice we're not simulating the horizontal structures because we have XY symmetry here, so we can just approximate this with a, a vertical structure. So the rebar has a uh, uh, permeability of 100, approximating, and about 1.7 uh, times 10 to the 6 S per M for conductivity. The concrete we're taking is weakly conducting unit permeability and 0 0.01 S per M. And this value will change with time as the concrete ages, its conductivity will change. And the air has, of course, unit permeability and no conductivity. Okay. So we're initially going to do this problem at 60 hertz. So it's already been solved. So let's go ahead and look at the I have to resolve again. We adjusted some parameters. Okay, so you can see that there is a deviation of the field at 60 hertz. Okay, and we can zoom into the solution region here. And we can compare the field outside to the field inside. using our selection tool. And also, I want to plot the shielding factor of this, as we did previously, as a function of frequency. It turns out that there's a big influence if, there's any in, if there are any openings in this structure due to windows or any kind of outlet, then our shielding is going to be a lot less severe. So I will show you an example where we have a window in our rebar structure. This is the same model as we have previously. Once again, this is at 50 hertz. And now we've installed a window. And the shielding is going to be, uh, there's going to be greater penetration of the field here. This is a one meter window. Okay. And also, we can look at a two meter or a window that's on the side. It turns out there's a big difference in the shielding factor depending on where the windows are. Okay. So, if a window on the side, you can see there's going to be a lot more ingress of the field inside of our concrete enclosure. Once again, this is at 50 hertz, and we want to span, we want to sweep the frequency using label mover as we did in the previous examples. And we can 
also animate the solution. If we look at the rebar structure here and see how the field is changing as a function of phase. So this is a plot of the shielding factors. And this is done for the three cases that I've just demonstrated. We have, uh, with no windows, the, a greater attenuation if we're looking at the, the external field divided by the field at the interior point, which is at the exact center of the shield. Uh, with no windows, we can see at 50 hertz, the shielding factor is about 0.1, and then it drops off to 0.002. Now, if we have windows, we can see that there's a lot more ingress of the field inside of our enclosure as a function of frequency. And so this is the, the case with the front windows. And with the side windows, we had the greatest penetration of field inside of our enclosure here. Finally, I like to look at the electromagnetic shielding properties of an iron sphere and what we'd like to tr what we'd like to do is screen a motor or some sort of s source of electromagnetic interference So this problem demonstrates the shielding of an external field by a cylinder here, or uh, in this case a sphere. And what we'd like to do is see how uh, a structure like this could contain a magnetic field. So if we had a magnetic noise source that's contained, it, instead of screening an external field, we want to see how we can screen uh, a field due to an object that might influence some experimental equipment that we don't want to have this ex external stray field. So this is a similar sphere here. And now we're containing an EMI source at the center here, whereas before we were screening an external field in this region. So look at our block labels. This is air. And then we have a, I'm just simulating the, the noise source by permanent magnet. And this is a, a steel enclosure with permeability of 100. Now, we can look at the solution and see roughly what the field is in the external region, which is, in nearby points, it's uh, about 10 to the negative 7 Tesla. And we would like to see what, what sort of improvement we obtain if, instead of a steel sphere, we have a mu metal sphere, which has roughly 100 times greater permeability. So if we increase the permeability roughly by a factor of 100, we can see the improvement in shielding, which is another two orders of magnitude. So if we increase our permeability by two orders of magnitude, we're going to increase our shielding roughly by the same amount. 